Right, time for some passive aggression. That's right, next up, and performing for you live, we have Megan Washington. I will take the west You know I liked it better Before I up the scars on your eyes Hey, how do you tame a lion? I see him when I sleep You know I liked it better When we pretended this was for I do not know what you want Do not know what you want Do not know what you feel do not know if it How do you tame a lion when they are lying low? You be my Arthur Miller, I will be your Marilyn How do you tame a lion when they are lying low? You be my Arthur Miller Hi. Put it there, sweet pea. Do so now that was a, a really sultry, tender session of music there. Sultry. Yeah. Uh, trying to coin a new word. <laughs> <laughs> you could probably help me with that. So rumor has it mm -hmm. that, that you uh, you've cr created your own genre, mm -hmm. which is now called passively aggressive. Oh uh, look, I'm not entirely mm. sure um, if it's passive or if it's aggressive, but mm. um. Yeah, I think, I, I, I don't know. Yeah, because I, I think I think the reason that that came up was because you'd got a jazz background, was it? So you studied, obviously, a jazz. Yeah, I did, yeah. Yeah? Yep. And how, how did that sort of... Well, I don't know. I mean, I grew up um, being mm -hmm. really into, like, uh, musical theatre. Right. And I guess from that into jazz. Um, but I had a problem sort of singing only jazz because I felt like I w wasn't really... Um, 
So like telling my story, like you know, like right. the stories belong to other people and uh, like another time. We're connecting fully. Yeah. So mm. I just um, I started writing my own songs. Excellent. And that's where that came from. Yeah. yeah. So you sort of found yourself like in in the process of like learning. Yeah. I mean, I was you know I studied it sort of you know pretty intensely. Um, mm. And I guess if people, you know, say that the music that I write now is a little bit jazzy, I guess it's because mm. there are just some things that you can't unlearn, mm. you know what I mean? Definitely. Mm. So yeah, no, the reason, because as I was listening to you, um, I remember like back in the day buying Nora Jones' first album mm -hmm. and just being sort of taken aback or taken away, like my, my breath had been taken away literally, oh. just by this, how this, this beautiful voice was there and everything. But I didn't really think if I'd met her in real life that she would have that much of a personality. Is that what's going on? I think you've got what Nora Jones lacks. Really? Yeah. Suck it. You sound Nora. like Nora Jones is just like. Eat your heart out, Nora down. Jones. Forget yeah. about it. Now, now, most singers or artists sort of realise they're passionate at a really early age. Sort of like, they tend to say, like, I was singing ever since I could walk, sort of thing. Mm. Which you never believe, really. Um, but you actually realised yours, like, sort of during college? Well, I mean, yeah, like, for writing, I suppose I didn't really mm. start writing until fairly late. You know, most people right in their early teens um but i never did um but in terms of like singing singing and just being into the arts in general i was one of those revolting ones that was <laughs> doing it since i was a baby oh really mm. oh wow those children that always manage to find their way to the front of a photograph <laughs> you know they're the ones you gotta watch just upstaged it's terrible so, so when writing songs where do you get your inspiration from um Oh, look, I find songs in, I mean, ideas come from sort of anywhere, like sometimes it's a musical idea that comes from like a jingle on a, on a television or mm -hmm. sometimes it's a conversation that I have with somebody or, um, you know, a, f a fight. Breakups are very inspiring. Sometimes I like to just, like, you know, break up with people just to, just to just wow. get a song out of it, you know. Um, very dark. No, <laughs> um, I don't know, sort of anywhere really. Cool. There are no rules. So, um, there's, you've also got a, a bit of an obsession with Judy Garland. Mm -hmm. Do you want to elaborate on that some? <laughs> um, I w yeah, okay, mm. I will elaborate. Um, Judy Garland is fantastic. Mm. I love her. I've watched all of her films and have a lot of her records and I think that she's incredibly talented and inspirational. And if I could be anybody, I would like to be the ghost of Judy Garland. Wow. And that concludes our interview. Pleasure doing business with you. You Thank too. You so much. You're great. <laughs> Watch this space. Why do I see stars at night? Everyone else sees the light And how did I come this far? I'm sure that I can't fly And why did you say that to me? Eighty miles out on the sea when I am built with parts of you and you are built with parts of me I think it's strange that the weather doesn't change when you are beside me when you are beside me I make my plans but they don't stay the same when you are beside me you are beside me Oh sailor, no oh, sailor Take the wheel Oh sailor, I don't measure How I feel We dance around the fire We dance around the flame We settle on the wire Settle on my name. 
So take me with you when you go Now that I know what I know Cross the waves Though the wind is high We go so slow We go